In this video, we'll look at another problem involving angles of elevation or depression. Recall that for an angle of elevation, the angle is formed with the horizon, or a horizontal line, and then we move counterclockwise and go up. So the angle of elevation is uh, formed by this horizontal line and uh, the ray that goes up. For an angle of depression, again, we need the horizontal line. And this time, we'll move clockwise. And the angle of depression goes down from the horizontal. The problem that we'll be working with is the length of a shadow of a flagpole, 55.20 feet tall, is 27.65 feet. Find the angle of elevation of the sun. Now before we draw our sketch, let's look at our significant digits. We see that the flagpole height has four significant digits. And the length of the shadow is also four significant digits. Right. We need uh, the ground and our flagpole. And it tells us uh, the flagpole is 55.20 feet tall. And we have um, shadow. So let's put our sun right up here. And the rays of the sun coming down to make a shadow on the ground that's 27.65 feet and our question is to find the angle of elevation of the Sun so from our ground this is our horizontal and we're moving clockwise and going up so the angle of elevation is going to be right here. We can call that theta. Now, across from theta is 55.20. And adjacent to theta is 27.65. So we need to use the trig function tangent. And we have tangent of theta is equal to opposite is 55.20 divided by the adjacent which is 27.65. Now whenever we don't know the angle we have to use our inverse trig functions so we will use inverse tangent on both sides. When you inverse tangent the tangent, those are those go away and you have just theta equals. And then we need to do this on our calculator. Make sure that you're in degrees. And then we want inverse tangent 55.20 divided by 27.65. Close the argument and hit equal. And then we want four significant digits. So 63.39 degrees is the angle of elevation of the sun. 